What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London. Now you may remember back in November 2015, Ford invited me, Sam and Tim down to their Driving Skills for Life Young Drivers program, which started in America and has come over to Europe. The Driving Skills for Life program is basically teaching young drivers and giving them the opportunity to have a bit more experience behind the wheel, driving some of Ford's cars, but then also learning about real life distractions with modern technologies that has come in to play passengers taking selfies passengers snapchatting or your phone buzzing and there's all sorts of distractions so last november I went down to an airfield. The reason that I'm filming this now is because the video camera and audio were absolutely atrocious on the day. The wind was pretty much unbearable and we were exposed to the elements. So I thought, why not, whilst I've got the Ford Focus RS for a couple of days, use this opportunity to introduce some of the activities that we did on this pretty fun field day. Now, the first activity is quite fitting, seeing as I've got this car behind me, which actually has a drift mode. No, we're not going drifting, however, Ford had set up a Ford Fiesta with easy drift tyres. They're basically hard, rock hard plastic on the rears, which basically gave us the impression and also the feel that the car was oversteering. Now, the reason for this activity and learning about oversteer is when you're buying your first car or any car in general, if you're buying a second hand car, sometimes the tyres are part worn, sometimes they need replacing, and you drive off the forecourt and you're just so excited and you want to get on that motorway. Sometimes, and I've experienced experienced it with my mum's Ford Focus that the rear tyres didn't have any grip and it was the first time that I'd ever experienced oversteer and so this was a perfect opportunity to learn more about car control if a car is going into a bit of a slide so check out some of the footage that we got of myself Tim and Sam going in cars with easy drift tyres <laughs> been out in the car for a lot longer than everyone else and has really got the hang of it. <laughs> that was a perfect timing. So I'm now hiding from the wind about to go into the drug suit and it uses different pressure points, lights and sound I think and I don't know what else it does but I'll let you know after but I'm about to jump in it now and I think I'm going to try and walk down a, a straight line, try and kick a football and a few other bits and pieces so I'm going to get Tim to film. I can't do point of view unfortunately, I wish I could but um, I'm sure it's going to be quite difficult. <laughs> Yes. 
so halfway through the day we were having so much fun and then the bombshell dropped that we were going to be driving a car whilst trying to type a text. This course was set up very tight, twisty, coned course and we were given a Ford Focus to drive as carefully as possible with no distractions and I tell you what it was a relatively slow lap by all of us and then once we came back round to the start stop finish the instructor told us to take our phone out and try and type a text to Sam and Tim about what we were doing so then we had to concentrate on typing a text whilst keeping our hands on the steering wheel and doing the gears as well. It was pretty much impossible. However, because I took it so slowly and probably kind of cheated as well, which I probably shouldn't have done, so uh, yeah, sorry Ford, I actually did it without knocking any cones over. But that doesn't take away from the fact that when you are in your car, not only is it illegal, but it is near impossible to have your eyes, mind, and every bit of focus on the road if you are on your phone. And even with passengers, sometimes they're just Snapchatting, sometimes they're texting away, sometimes they're taking selfies, and that is a distraction nonetheless. So it was a really, really important activity that we did. <laughs> I, I basically, I had to get my phone out on the second one. The instructor said, send a text to one of the guys, so I just got WhatsApp up. The thing was, yeah, the, the first time that I was going around, the things that I said in the car was one, the first time that I went around and I was really concentrating, I was also mapping out the track in my head so that I knew that when I could go again, then I could try not and make myself not look that stupid. But what I also said was this isn't my car and we're using cones. Replace the cones with lampposts and replace the car with my own car. And the last thing I'd want to be doing is not concentrating on driving. So the next activity, active city stop. And I am going to be a passenger for the demonstration, which I'm quite nervous about. Actually stop the vehicle. So we're gonna go for like a, about a ten, nine, 10 mile an hour, straight towards the object. Whoa. And it brings us to a stop. Okay, so that was not, that was you not on in the pedals at all? No, I'm near him, but. <laughs> Is it close? That wasn't me, I didn't touch any of the pedals. That was all the car, that wasn't me. That is close. So I've just finally been interviewed and just talked about the summary of the event and what an incredible and also valuable experience this has been, the Ford Driving Skills for Life. You learn so much and I said on camera over there for the Ford video that it's just in a safe environment like this where you're not using your own car and you're not up against real props such as lampposts or even, God forbid, human beings as these cones are. So it's definitely worth getting involved with. It is completely free to sign up and you do learn so much and you gain a lot of experience so for any new driver out there or someone who's just got their driver's license then to learn about oversteer emergency stops all of the different things that are fundamental and are definitely going to prevent accidents on the road then this is something that you should definitely get involved with after that it has been a fantastic day so i'd just like to say thank you to ford for inviting me down here and learning a lot about one their cars but also this insane experience so thank you for watching make sure that you subscribe and head over to tim and sam's channel as well and also for i'm going to leave all of the information in the description below so i will say goodbye and i will see you tomorrow cheers guys